at some point you've probably been onto a repo on GitHub or GitLab or anything like that and saw what seemed like a terminal video. But you click on that video and you watch it and you realize two things. One, it's using the font you have selected in your browser. And two, you can select the text inside of the video. And that's because it's not actually a video. What this is, is a capture of your terminal and then re-rendered inside of the browser. And the way this is being done is with a piece of software called ASCII Enema. Every so often I'll see a comment somewhere, maybe on my stuff or the repos themselves, asking how this is being done. And I realized, even though ASCII Enema has been around for quite a long time, I've never done a video on it. So ASCII Enema comes in two parts. We have the ASCII Enema server. Most people just use the main instance being ASCII Enema.org, but the application is completely open source. Anybody can go and host it. I'll leave a link to the GitHub in the description down below. And then the second part is the ASCII Enema capture software that you run inside of your terminal. I'll show you where you can download the software in just a bit. But for now, let's see what it can do. So first up, let's go and run ASCII Enema Rec. That is going to start the recording. Now, when we do that, it's going to go and open up a new shell instance inside of our shell. So if we have, say, NeoFetch inside of our Bash RC or our ZSHRC, anything like that, that is going to be reloaded. Just keep that in mind in case you don't want that to be shown. For those instances, you might want to go and temporarily remove it. So let's go and open up... Uh, we'll go and open up B top. Let's move around a bit in here. Let's go and open up H top. And you know what? I think we're done now. So if we go and type exit or we press control D, that is going to stop the recording. But before it gets saved anywhere, you're going to be given a prompt. You can either upload it to ascienema.org. That can be changed later. I'll show you how to do that. Or if we press control C, it is going to be saved locally. I'm going to save it locally for now just so I can show you something really cool. Now, when we recorded, if we didn't give the application a name, it was just going to use that temporary name. Luckily, we still can go and use that though, and we can do ASCII Enema Play and actually play the file. Now, because it took so long to actually do anything, it's not gonna seem like anything's really happening for a while. So I'm not typing anything right now. And as you can see, we're moving around the video we recorded. Now we're opening up HTOP and everything we did before is being played back from that recording. That recording was a bit of a mess because I had somewhere from 10 to 15 seconds of downtime and no one really wants to see that. So what we can do instead is limit the amount of downtime that is going to be captured in the recording itself. Because this isn't a real video, there's no audio involved or anything like that, so we can very safely go and get rid of anything that isn't important. So if we pass in the dash I option, this is going to take a number of seconds argument. Let's go and set this to two. So what's going to happen now is if there is more than two seconds of idle time, any more idle time is going to be instantly cut. If I go and run BTOP now, and we quit out of the application and do control D. Let's go and save this one locally again and then try to play this one. What we're going to notice is even though we waited all of that time, all of that time is now basically completely gone, except for the two seconds that we allowed for. And there we go. Now, before we start recording, if we want to set a file name for the output file, that can be done by passing in a file name after the rec argument. Now, the standard extension for these recordings from ASCII Enema is .cast. We don't have to put .cast on the end, but I'm just going to do it to keep it in line with everything else. So let's go and run LF again. Let's quit that. And let's run... I would have top again just because this is something on top of my head. And then we'll quit and type exit this time. And then we're done. Now, when we include a name like that, it is going to be saved locally, even without asking us. That's not an issue, and I'll show you how to upload afterwards. So, another thing we can do is change the environment variables being captured by ASCII Enema. By default, it's going to capture your shell environment variable and the term variable. But if we want to go and change what environment variables are being captured, we can also pass in the dash E argument and then list out those variables. So you might want to pass in your editor and things like that. 
And then the dash C argument is going to change the application which is captured. So normally it drops you straight into your shell, but maybe you want to go and capture something like LF directly. So if we pass in LF to this, it's going to start us instantly in the application and the recording has already started. So now as soon as I press Control D, the recording is going to end, or at least it should, assuming that you don't have a binding for Control D in the application you're recording. So let's quit out of this and okay, in that case, it is gonna save. And you might also wanna change the title of the capture separate from the file name. Now, this isn't very useful if all we're doing is saving locally, but if we're going to be uploading stuff, we might wanna have the file name be something and then maybe the title be a bit more descriptive. Let's just call this, uh, in quotes we'll say, this is a capture. Go and start the recording, and then B top, and then we'll just quit straight away. And as we're going to see, it saves fine, and the file name doesn't change here. We still have a temporary file name, but now if we go and upload this, we'll see what happens. So firstly, you can upload to ASCIinema.org if you don't have an account. This can either be done at the end of a recording by pressing enter, or if you have a pre-recorded file running ASCIinema, and then upload and then passing in the file. So in this case, let's go and use this one right here. But one limitation if you don't have an account is it's not going to be saved forever. It's only going to be saved, I believe, for seven days. And after that point, it is going to be deleted. Now, my connection is really slow right now, so I'll cut back to when it's done. And then once the upload is done, it's going to give you a link to tell you where it's actually stored. In my case, I do have an account, so this one isn't going to be deleted. And because this is the one we gave it a title, it's actually using the title on the website. Now, to connect your account to ASCIinema.org or whatever server you're using, all you need to do is run ASCIinema and then pass in auth. Now, I am not going to run this because it basically shows what amounts to a private key, a private link, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's a link that will allow you to associate your account with all of my recordings. So, don't share that link, but this is what you do. So, it'll give you a link, open the link, log into your account, and then you'll be good to go. And one of the other nice things is any of the other captures you've done from this system are then also going to be associated with that account automatically. You don't need to go back and track them all down. Also, now that we're speaking about the site, one other thing you can do is you can actually go and play someone else's recording on your terminal. I think this is actually really, really cool. So ask Yenema play, pass in this link right here, and give it a moment. It obviously is going to take time to download, and depending on your connection speed and all of that fun stuff, it's going to take maybe a bit of time. Okay, now it's running, and it's running on my system. Someone else's capture right here. I think this is really, really cool. But if you don't want to play everything, we can instead cat out the capture instead. Let's do this with something locally, just so it doesn't take as much time. Now, what I mean by catting out the capture is basically dumping the result directly onto your terminal. So... It's weird the way it works. Sometimes you don't see everything. Sometimes you just see the application being open. So if there's a screen wipe, you generally won't see those. I don't really see much of a use case for the cat option, but I guess if you want to see a certain step or something like that, and you want to have the result afterwards, maybe that's useful, but otherwise I don't really get it. Now, while you are technically capturing your terminal, keep in mind it is limited in what it can capture. If it can't be stored in Unicode and ASCII, it's generally not going to be supported. So if you open up something that has maybe Sixel graphics, or you use Kitty graphics, or iTerm, or you use Uberzar, or anything like that, that sort of stuff isn't going to work. But everything from, you know, the general alphabet up to emojis is going to be fine. Now, as for the source code, this is the recording software, and this is the server. If you want to set up your own server, I haven't done so myself, but there is an install guide right here, and there is a Docker image as well, so it surely cannot be that difficult. 
Also, the recording software is licensed under GPL v3, and the server is licensed under an Apache license, Apache 2.0. Do not ask me why they are using different licenses or why they're not using like a GPL on the server. I've got no idea. So once you've set up your instance, all you need to do is modify an environment variable. So on the system you're going to be capturing from, the variable is ASCII enema underscore API underscore URL. And as you might expect, just set this variable to the URL of the server and then you're good to go. ASCII enema certainly isn't a tool I would use super often, but that's because I'm not developing CLI or terminal-based software. If you're a developer in that space and you want to show off something in your terminal and you want to do it in a fairly simple way without, you know, embedding a video, this seems like a pretty straightforward way to do it. Also, a lot of the settings we set prior to the recording and some extra ones as well can be set on the website as well when you go and upload it. So if we go into the settings for one of the uploads, click on edit, we're going to see we can change the title, we can add a description, we can change the number of terminal columns and rows, different themes, basically all the stuff you need. I didn't go over every single one of the recording options because I don't think that all of them are useful most of the time, but I recommend going and checking out the man page and seeing how else you can modify your recordings. So that's going to be it for me. Let me know in the comment section down below. Did you already know about ASCII Enema? Have you used it before? Or is this a new discovery for you and you've always wondered how those videos actually worked? I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon. Subscribe to Johnny Barrow. Pay link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robertson Plays. That's going to be it for me. So I'm out.